Thank you for stopping by, by Just Piddling Barbecue. Today, we're gonna fry up some fish and frog legs on the Watchman stove. Stay tuned. way overdue on cooking on the watchman stove so today we're going to fire it up our son brennan came by last night he had caught some bass so we cleaned them last night cut them up into pieces and uh, we're going to fry them up today we also got some fr uh, frog legs that we're going to fry up as well uh, the bass is going to be in cornmeal the frog legs are going to be in flour it's going to be a great time we're just hanging out out here by the pool enjoying the weekend so it's going to be a nice laid-back cook the way I'm going to control the fire in this Watchman stove today is a combination of some maple chunks that I've cut up as well as some lump charcoal that was sent to me by a subscriber uh, and it's from forestlumps.com. I'll, uh, I'll put it up above forestlumps.com. It's like a Baltic uh, lump charcoal and uh, it's going to work great and help maintain that temp uh, while we're out here cooking. So we're waiting for the oil to, to come up to temp. I've got the oil in the Lodge cast iron Dutch oven, and that's what we're going to uh, fry up this fish and frog legs in, so stay tuned. All right, that oil is almost up to temp on the Watchman stove. We're looking for a temp of about 350 for the oil. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, season this flour. We're gonna do flour for the frog legs. And I got a, a paper sack for this. This is how my mama used to always do it with, with chicken or fish anything like that so that's how i'm doing it today what i've got is i'm going to season this flour with some charlie's choice it's basically a salt pepper garlic seasoning and i'm going to season that really well with that as well as some traeger summer shanty inspired rub and basically it's really just a kicked up lemon pepper is all it is but that's going to go really well with the frog legs as well so I'm going to give a generous dose of the summer shanty in there. That'll be good. And then I'm going to put the frog legs in. Now frog legs, look at these beauties. Beautiful. Nice thick frog legs. So these are going in. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six beautiful pair of frog legs. Beautiful. Now, just fold that sack over and give it a good shape. Give it a look. And there we go. And so, you can shake off the excess. And that's what you want when you get done with seasoning it with flour. We'll go ahead and start frying up these frog legs. Now, I've got a temperature gauge in here. It says it's ready. We're going to go ahead and drop them in. 
nice little sizzle. Could be just a tad hotter, but I think it's going to do like it's supposed to. I'm going to wait on the rest of these because the more you add, the uh, lower it's going to drop that temperature, and I don't want it to drop too low, so it's sizzling pretty good, though. I might be about right. Try another pair in here. We've got six pair, so we'll do three at a time. And see how those go. Fry them up pretty good. All right, guys, these are done. These are starting to float, and the joint that connects the legs are starting to separate right there. You could really probably pull them apart right now. Plus, I've already checked the internal temp with my Thermoworks Mark IV, and it's well over 190 degrees, 185 degrees. So these are done. And I'll put the other three pair in. Take off the excess. Look at that. Pop them right in. Beautiful. Alright, we got the frog legs out, they're done, and now we're fixing to start with the bass. Now these are just bass pieces that have been cleaned. Those are my favorite pieces, by the way. Stick a couple of those in there. Nice piece of bass. Do one more. Caught about half of them. We got the seasoning, let's season them. Charlie's Choice again, and some Summer Shanty. Now, one of the things about frying is it's always good to season the flour ahead of time when you're battering, but as we took the frog legs out, we seasoned them again because that oil is going to absorb those seasonings when you get done and pull them out. We're going to do the same thing with the fish. Let's start tossing these. Again, I'm using the lump charcoal, forestlumps.com, and some chunks of maple to keep the Watchman stove going. It's still got a good temp on it. Rolling perfect. So let's get these in. All right, we're finished with this cook. Uh, the Watchman Stove did outstanding. Check out the Watchman Stove at watchmanstove.com. Great guys, great people. All the people over at uh, Winchester Metals, thank all you guys for what you do. Uh, Brandy's fixing to saute some green beans, fresh green beans and some garlic and bacon grease over there on it now. So it's still holding temp. Did an outstanding job. Let's talk about the frog legs and the bass for a minute. We did six pairs of frog legs, and there's only two and a half uh, pairs left. Uh, my son Nate said he didn't even like them and ate about two or three pair of them. But we're fixing to try them right now. Turned out great. 
again, anytime you're frying anything, season the flour or whatever you're battering them with. But then after you take them out of the oil, re-season them, and they'll turn out great. Let's try these out. Tender. Look at that. Perfect. If you never tried frog legs, you gotta try them. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want to try frog legs. If you try them one time, you'll be wanting them every single weekend. Wonderful. Thanks to Mike's Meats down there for carrying these. Now let's try out this bass. Again, this was done in cornmeal. Nice flaky fish. Looks beautiful. Bright, clean, white flavor. Mm. That's perfect. The summer shanty does a great job like I say it's kind of like a a uh, lemon pepper beautiful color white clear flaky fish plenty of moisture as well that's awesome if you're looking for an alternative if you're not a pellet guy you're not a charcoal guy you don't know what kind of grill you want Give the watchman stove a look stove a look it'll do anything plus it'll be your fire pit after the sun goes down so give it a try till next time we'll be piddling